Oh. Let's get this bad boy started. Welcome to our Breakfast Club call. My name is Pamela Pacheco, and I have the honor, pleasure, and privilege of being your host today. And I'm super excited to be here with you guys, like I am every Thursday morning. And if you are joining us for the first time, welcome home. If you are returning once again, welcome back. I remember when I first started the journey of entrepreneurship and I was looking forward to these type of calls. Not only was I looking forward to these type of calls because of the information I was going to receive, but I was looking forward to these type of calls for the inspiration I was going to receive. See, I understand that our subconscious mind works best in the morning and at night. So what you put in your mind early on in the morning sets the tone for your day. So greatness in is greatness out, right? Garbage in is garbage out. So kudos to each and every single one of you that decided to start your morning off with some greatness, with some fuel. So uh, last week we spoke about, you know, what are some of those things? We went over the seven things to do as you're coming right out of an event. And what are those things uh, we went over, right? We went over the basic things that we should be doing things like prospecting and inviting and presenting and following up, closing, getting new reps started, promoting events, training. And we also spoke about three steps towards change, right? Which was identify, confront, and declare it. And if you did not tune in last week, make sure you check out and register on our YouTube page, Chosen Global. Today, what I wanted to talk about is how attending events, and if you are registered for Freedom Academy coming up in July, type a one in the chat. Type a one in the chat if you are registered for Freedom Academy. Yes, yes, yes. I see a lot of ones coming in. Make sure you are sending it to all panelists and attendees. But today we're going to talk about how our personal, uh, our personal development events, our business events, why our training events meet all of our basic human needs. And in my opinion, attending events is the best addiction you will ever have. And I know somebody is like, wait a minute, you talking about addiction? Like, I don't know if I, if I want to subscribe to your breakfast club called today, Pam. Take it easy. And let me explain. So why do I say that? Because we all have six basic human needs. And if you are taking notes, make sure you are taking notes, right? But our six basic human needs are certainty, are the need for uncertainty and variety. We have the need for significance. We have the need for love and connection. We have the need for growth. And lastly, we have the need for contribution. And when we talk about the first four of our basic human needs, which are certainty and variety and significance and love and connection, those are what is called our primal needs. Those are our first four needs. Why? Because these are the needs that are necessary, not only for survival, right, but a successful life. And the last two are our spiritual needs, right? Our number five and number six, which are growth and contribution. Why is that? Because these are the two of our human needs that lead to the most growth and contribution. And they lead to the most fulfillment in every aspect of our life. So if you're asking yourself, you know, what exactly are you talking about, Pam? Like, how are you getting out? What are you getting at here? So talking about our certainty. Now, if you are somebody that craves certainty, and let me tell you what I mean by certainty. Certainty is the assurance that you can avoid pain and gain pleasure. And how can you tell if certainty is one of your core human needs? Maybe you're somebody that identifies as you're trustworthy. Type a one in the chat if you're that person that you're like, you know what, I'm trustworthy. I always do what I say I'm going to do. Type a one in the chat. Type a one in the chat if you're the person that you enjoy planning, right? And, and you thrive on a schedule. I was just talking about this with one of my girls, Sierra, yesterday. Like, I'm like, girl, my schedule is not my second Bible. And successful people are always busy being productive. So we thrive on our schedule. We're very organized, right? Because certainty is one of my core needs. Um, maybe you're that person that you're hesitant to take risks 
and have new experiences because you know that is that is something now what do i mean how do you fulfill that need for certainty you have to find activities you have to find things that you enjoy but that push you slightly to be outside of your comfort zone. As we talk about all the time, your comfort zone is not your wealth zone. In fact, everything that is great for us, it's outside of our comfort zone. So how do you say, Pamela, how does, you know, going to our events, how, how does that bring certainty? Well, I will tell you certainty in the business, our events give you certainty. See there's certainty in our leadership. And leaders are those that are able to bring certainty where an environment where there isn't any. So if you're talking about meeting that basic human need of certainty, we got certainty in our products. How many of us know, like we know that it's a hundred percent 30 day money back guarantee, right? We have certainty in our plan when we go to events, because we understand more of our compensation plan. We understand more of the vehicle for financial freedom. We have certainty in financial freedom. We have certainty in this vehicle. We have certainty in the tax breaks that you get from running a type of home-based business as this. We also have certainty in our travel experiences, right? We have certainty in our events because we run our events on a schedule. If you are familiar, when you get to our events, you check in, you have registration, you have an entire agenda of the weekend. We have certainty in the events that we have going on. For example, we have a golf tournament happening. We got Trainers Academy happening on Thursday. We also have a Shabbat dinner for Platinum and Above that Thursday. We have a social media and content creation workshop going on at Freedom Academy. So again, certainty in so many different environments. But here's the real great thing that we have certainty when we go to our events such as Freedom Academy. We have certainty in the opportunity, right? That increases by you going to our events and you have certainty in our community. You have certainty in the Ben Shabbat family. You have certainty in our secret community. So this is how, if you're talking about you crave certainty, you're meeting that human, that basic human need by attending our events, such as Freedom Academy. Moving on, the second human need that we're going to talk about is the need of uncertainty and variety. So what does that mean? Well, that is the need for the unknown. How many, how many people in here like love change? You want the new stimuli. You, you want to, you're the person that you're like, you're excited when your trainer switches up your workout routine. That is me. I'm like, I'm looking forward to dying today, but I know you're going to kill me some way different than you have in the last two years, right? Because you crave that variety is one of your core needs. And if you're asking yourself, Pamela, how do I even know that variety is one of my core needs? Ask yourself, do you generally, are you generally outgoing? Do you love meeting new people? Are you the person that's always willing to try something new? Do you have many things that interest you? Are you the person that you can be unfocused if you're lacking planning skills sometimes? And sometimes people push away, right? Those type of people. And if you're talking about the need, for variety and uncertainty. Well, you're meeting new people at our events. And that's one of the ways that you can fulfill the human need of variety because it's by feeding your mind new information. And new information is not only new information that you're going to apply to this business. It's also new information that you're gaining from meeting new people. And if this is adding value to you guys, type of one in the chat, if this is making any type of sense, but that need for uncertainty, that need for variety is something that you can always experience at our events. And here's the reality. So many of you, Phoenix, this is going to be your first time going to Phoenix, Arizona. You're going to have a variety with new people that you're meeting. You're going to have, I've been to Phoenix a bunch of times and I'm still getting variety because I've never been to the Arizona Grand Resort, right? I've never been in this space. I've never gone to play at a golf tournament. 
Believe it or not, I've played a lot of sports. Golf is not one of them that I am an expert at, right? So I'm excited for that. But you also are going to get variety because you're going to have a variety in our trainers, in our speakers that are going to be pouring into you. You're going to have a variety of skill sets that you're going to be learning because all of these trainers are bringing a different dynamic to our training system they're going to be bringing a different dynamic to your overall experience you're going to you're going to be that person that's like you're going to get variety in restaurants if you are a foodie like me type of one in the chat right i'm one of those people that i'm looking for the variety in the culture i love to eat different food right i work out so that i can eat whatever i want and if you know you know but you're going to get variety in the restaurants that you attend. You're going to get variety in the things you're going to eat. You're going to get variety in the people that you're going to meet. You're going to also get variety in the announcements, right? That's like an uncertainty. Like a lot of us are anxious and platinum and above. We know a little bit of some of the announcements, not all of it, but man, it's so exciting because you have that uncertainty going into the event. You're like, Oh, what's gonna what's it gonna be this event? What's it gonna be this weekend? So that's how you're pretty much meeting that human need of uncertainty and variety. And our third basic human need is significance. And if you're like, well, what exactly is significance, Pam? You know, feeling important, feeling special, feeling needed, feeling unique. And here's the reality, whether you admit it or not, we all want to be seen, we all want to be heard, we all want to be listened to. And our events, you get that feeling of significance like no other. And here's so many different ways that you get it. Recognition, you get recognition for your accomplishments, right? If you, whether you made Billboard top 10 or you hit a new rank or whether you accomplish a new level of residual or you went rock star, if you had any type of accomplishment, you're going to get celebrated like you just graduated school. And that need of significance, you get met at our events. And maybe you're like, Pam, but this is my first event and I'm not walking stage, I don't think. And I don't really think I'm gonna get that, that sense of importance. Well, guess what? If you're bringing a new person on your team, you get that sense of significance. And I tell you why, because when it's a first timer that is at an event, you find significance in helping them find their way. And maybe you're the person that's new and you're bringing new people with you. You still get fulfillment. You still get that sense of significance because you're helping somebody. You're helping somebody grow. You're helping somebody get further in life. So your human need of significance is automatically being met by attending our events. And if you're the person that's like, well, how do I even know that significance is one of my core human needs? You're highly driven to be successful. You love setting and reaching goals. You're the person that's like, listen, I'm committed to the cause. I'm down for the team, whatever the team needs. Or maybe you're the person that's some committed to several causes, right? I'm the person that's like, I finished Bible study yesterday with my kids at church. I, I do a five-week program. Uh, we have like two, three weeks off, but I teach Bible study to children, right? That is something that I gain significance because I'm committed to different causes. And as soon as I got out, I got home, I went and did a presentation, why? Because I am committed to the cause of freedom. I am committed to help empowering people live their best life, for people to be tapped in to holistic wellness. So ask yourself, is, is that something that is you crave? Do you crave that significance? Because all of our events help you meet that human need of significance. And if you're the person that's like, well, how can I even fulfill it even more? Man, Tap into that competitive nature. Tap into these healthy activities that allow you to continue to meet that human need. But I will tell you that if you're the person that's like, man, I want to walk stage, you still have time. You still have time. 
right? The month is not over. It is June 22nd, right? You have nine days left uh, to finish out the month strong. So if that significance is something that you crave, you can more than that, more than ever, make sure that you are meeting it by attending our events. Number four, the need for love and connection. It's that love, right? It's the strong feeling of closeness. It's the union with someone or something. And that's why you see love and connection go hand in hand because our events, type of one in the chat, if you know, like, you know, if I'm, if I'm lying, I'm dying. Our events feel like a family reunion. And why do I say family reunion? Because sometimes, right? You're like, but it's my first event. Like, am I really going to feel that welcoming? Yes. The energy that is there is welcoming for everybody. The It's a family reunion. Our community is everything. The energy is unexplainable. Like simply put, it cannot be put into words, right? Because you're going to have this connection with new friends. And here's, and if you can vouch for this. I know if you've been attending our events, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know, when you meet somebody in the hallway and you just connect, right? It's sometimes the event before the event. It's sometimes you're meeting somebody on your way up in the elevator. It's sometimes you meeting somebody at lunch. It's sometimes you having an amazing connection with a server at a restaurant. It's sometimes you having an amazing story or connection with your Uber driver, that picked you up from the airport and took you to the event. You just never know where that need for love and connection is going to be met, right? Yes, Yara, we meet a great people on the way up on the elevator, don't we? Um, so that is everything because you just never know if you have a level of expectancy, if you expect the greatness, if you expect the breakthroughs, if you expect your basic human needs to be met, they definitely will be met. And if you're the person that's like, well, I don't even know, Pam, if love and connection is one of my human needs, do loyalty and generosity mean anything to you? Are you the person that values loyalty as one of your top values? Are you the person that you just give freely to others that you find trustworthy? Are you the person that you have strong social ties, but you can, uh, you are the person that is, you know, you want to go deeper. You want to build community, right? If you're that person that that's how, you know, if love and connection is one of your basic human needs and our fifth basic human need is growth, right? It's expansion. It's the capacity of expansion. It's the capability of understanding. And here's the reality that our events, they're going to meet this human need of growth because you're getting growth in personal development. I always say that we are a uh, travel and we are the ultimate lifestyle club disguised as a personal development company right? Because the amount of personal development that you gain is out of this world. The amount of business development that you gain is out of this world. You're going to grow to, you're going to grow to become the best version of you. And why this is always in alignment, because see, there's skill sets that you're going to learn here that are going to be applicable to any other business that you do. There are basic skill sets that you are going to acquire here that are going to allow you to prosper as a speaker that are going to allow you to be on TV one day, that are going to allow you to speak in front of thousands of people, that are going to allow you to be a better community builder, that are going to allow you to be a better person, that are going to allow you to be a better daughter, that are going to allow you to be a better friend, to be a better wife, to be a better leader, to be a better sister. And the list goes on and on and on. But if you're the person that's like, Man, I crave growth. Let me tell you something. Once your mind grows, it can't ever go back. And that is one of the things that you're always going to find at our events. You're going to be growing. And the personal development 
And the business development, the spiritual development, the emotional development that you get, it's growth in every aspect of your life. Because see, and I'm going to tell you, as someone that is purpose driven, as someone that faith is my firm foundation, nothing increases and helps me grow in my faith. And not only in my faith in me, in my faith in my creator, in my faith in knowing that I'm at the right place at the right time with the right people. When I hear these stories that inspire you, when you hear people's journeys that you're like, man, you could do it, we could do it, all right? And you go from that me too, you go into that me too moment, you you often find yourselves in those me too moments and type a one in the chat if you've had a me too moment at a training event. And it helped you grow because you heard somebody else's story that inspired you. Maybe it could be somebody that inspired you to grow because of their story and in recognition, or maybe it was just a trainer that you identified with and you're like, man, I can see myself as that person. I can see myself on stage. I can see myself leading like that. I can see myself being better in every aspect. So the personal development, the product development, the business development, the skill sets that are going to grow, your mindset is going to grow. And here's the reality. Here's why growth is one of our basic human needs. Because if we're not growing, we're just dying and nobody got time for that, right? So growing is something that is absolutely important. And if you're the person that's like, Pam, I don't have, I don't even know if that is one of my basic human needs. Are you always pushing boundaries? Those that are set by you and set by others for you or set by society? Are you the person that you're very independent and you're not attached to material things? And sometimes you may find it hard to connect with others and you move on too quickly from relationships because you're just you're you're constantly need for growing so how do you feed that and fuel that need is developing a growth mindset by further by challenging yourself to not only learn right but to truly master a skill like are you committed to mastering that skill of inviting that we were talking about last week are you committed to mastering that skill of closing? Are you committed to mastering that school of promoting, that skill of promoting events? Are you committed to mastering your emotions? Are you committed to mastering the concept of our comp plan? Are you committed to mastering residual income? Are you committed to growing? in every aspect of your life, because this is how your basic human need is met when you're attending our events, such as Freedom Academy, happening July 14th through the 16th in Phoenix, Arizona, at the Arizona Grand Resort. Last but certainly not least, contribution. Contribution is the sense of service, focusing on helping, giving to and supporting others. If you have not figured it out, the secret of living is giving. I'm going to say it louder for the people in the back. The secret of living is giving. And some of you on here, your mamas, your grandmamas, your aunties like me, or your business people, or your career people, and you're like, girl, I'm giving all the time to my family. When was the last time that you gave to something that you didn't know, right? And I'm not talking about being a good Samaritan. I'm, I get it. I, I do that. I'm not talking about tithing at church. I get it. I do that. But I'm talking about you contributing. And I will tell you that if you understand that the secret of living is giving, passive income is generational wealth. And you have to think of this. If you don't change anything, what will change? See, if you know that the secret of living is giving, the more you have, the more you can give. And passive income is generational wealth. This is generational wealth that you can pass down to your children's children because here's the reality. If we are not leaving residual income and residual blessings for the people that we love, for our communities, for our legacy, we are leaving residual debt. We are leaving residual regrets. We are leaving right things that do not 
that are not going to serve our loved ones. So if you're the person that's ever been at a place in your life that you're like, man, I understand that I maybe didn't come from the best upbringing, Pam. I could, I know, I know, girl, I can relate to you. I know what it is to grow up in the projects. I know what it is to grow up on government assistance. I know what it is to want more out of life and not being necessarily around the right people and just wanting to, you know, get the best that you can out of everything. And how do I change that, right? How do I change that by attending our events? Because the more you have, the more you can give. And that contribution that you get, and maybe you're the person that's like, well, how, how do I contribute if I just started? There's so many ways that you, that human need of contribution is met at our events. You know why? Because you can also go into becoming a secret agent, right? One of our ambassadors and one of our, like, there's so many ways that you can become a servant leader here. There's so many ways that you can fill that need of contribution. If you're asking yourself, Pam, I have no idea if I'm the person that that's like even my human need. Like, how, how do I know that? You're extremely empathetic. You're the person that's a compassionate person, truly. You enjoy giving back. You're the person that loves sharing what you have. And you're the person that wants to leave a legacy. And sometimes you may burn out easily or, you know, you, you have the disease to please, right? I, I've, I've worked through that. And I've learned if it's not a hell yes, it's a hell no, right? But I can't give my team everything, time, energy, and attention, but I've learned how to do it in a constructive way. I've learned how to do it in things that are not only going to be for my betterment because they're meeting all of my basic human needs, but I'm going to be able to help more people because here's the reality, right? We all have two of those basic human needs that drive us to our peak potential. And the reason why I said that going to events is the greatest addiction you can ever have is because whenever you have three of these basic human needs that are met, it becomes an addiction that is scientifically proven, right? Whether you're meeting the need for certainty, the need for virality, the need for significance, the need for connection and love, the need for growth, the need for contribution. Whenever you have three of these human needs that are met, it becomes an addiction. And that is why you have people like myself, you have people like the top leaders, the top earners that never miss an event because we understand that it's an addiction, but it's a good addiction because we're growing in every aspect of our life. And more than anything, our human needs are met. And here's the reality that three of those, whenever three of those are met, they, it becomes an addiction, right? But two of our human needs, can anybody guess which two of our human needs that we went over lead people to the most self-sabotage or lead people to thrive the most? If you, if you could get, take a guess, what would you guess is that human need? Type it in the chat. Is it certainty? Is it variety? Is it significance? Is it love and connection? Is it growth? Is it contribution? Make sure you're sending it to all panelists and attendees. Which of those two basic human needs do you think lead people to the most self-sabotage or to thrive? Okay, yes, and I the answers are coming in. Make sure you guys are sending it to all to everyone. But you're right, right? It's the need of certainty and significance. The need for certainty and significance lead people to thrive the most or to self-sabotage. And when you talk about certainty, ladies and gentlemen, there's certainty in this opportunity. There's certainty in what you have your hands on. There's certainty in this community. There's certainty in these products. There's certainty in this event. There's certainty in the foundation that we are building. But there's certainty in you seizing this opportunity within the lifetime of the opportunity. And there's the significance that you are going to get. It's not only the significance of feeling important because you're walking stage, but the significance of helping people live a better life, the significance of making the world a better place, the significance of knowing that the products in our nutrition are helping healing people, are healing people. I pray that nobody ever 
has to deal with a loved one that is ill, that you are just watching their health deteriorate because at that moment, you're going to realize how important our health is and the significance that you get from making people, making sure that people that are, are not only healthy in their bodies, but they're healthy in their minds. The significance you get in knowing that people are healthy in their bank accounts, that people are healthy in their love, that people are healthy in every aspect because Again, if we're not helping each other, if we are not growing, we are just dying. So if you've ever wanted to have the best addiction in the world, the best addiction in the world, make sure you are registered for Freedom Academy. Make sure that you consistently and constantly are attending our events because this is going to meet all of our basic human needs. And you're going to know today, hey, is certainty my basic human need? Is variety, is significance, is love and connection, is growth, is contribution? Because here's the reality. It doesn't matter which one of these are your basic human needs. That's for you to decide. But the reality is that what we have, our hands on ladies and gentlemen, can make sure it is feeding all of your basic human needs. That is satisfying that thirst in all of our basic human needs. And the reality is that you deserve to live your best life. Abundance, prosperity, it is your birthright. And it doesn't matter you're not where you want to be at. It doesn't matter that your business probably isn't where you wanted it to be at. It doesn't matter that your life probably isn't what you wanted to be at. Me too. It's okay. But together, we go further. But if you don't change anything, what's really going to change? So if you've ever lacked, if you're ever finding yourself, and you're like, man, I can see my life is going in a downward spiral. It's because your basic human needs are not being met. So changing that, it doesn't have to be something drastically, right? But little by little, right? How do you eat the elephant? Little by little. And that is exactly when it comes to me making sure you are meeting all of your human needs. So if you want to satisfy all of your human needs, if you want to meet and exceed your human needs, make sure you are registered for Freedom Academy, secretdirectevents.com. Breakfast has been served. It is always a pleasure, honor, and privilege to serve and grow with you. Great day and God bless. Thank you guys so much.